welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my hair. If you're new here, my name is Francis C. Welcome. I do videos on makeup, hair, fashion, vlogs, lifestyle, the whole nine yards. And I hope that by the end of this video, you decide to join the Fantasy family. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, girl. How are you? And you should know, out of all these people that's watching, is whenever it comes to a hair video, baby, I ain't wearing no makeup. I am not wearing no makeup, because, like, why? Okay? I ain't doing it. My skin is glowing. It's about the hair. It's not about the face. Okay? If I look a little swollen, it's because I didn't. I woke up, like, not too long ago. But, you know, I just feel like I still look cute. Like, I still, you know, got a good going when I got a little going, you know? You feel me? Like, yeah. So, <laughs> as you guys can tell by the title, today's video is going to be all about my dreads. This is the Lisa Bonet slash Tiana Taylor inspired locks. I say Tiana Taylor because I literally did what Tiana Taylor did in her hair. So when I was looking at Tiana Taylor's hair, I was just kind of like, oh my God, her locks look gorgeous. I want to do locks again. I do locks like almost every single year since like 2017. I've been doing locks almost every single year because I've just been obsessed. I'm, I'm very much an analyzer. If you guys don't know, I my first love was hair. I started doing hair when I was 13. It was like my first job. First job was doing hair. I've been doing hair since I was like 13. So when it comes to hair, I can honestly, look at a style and know how to do it and kind of like pick up on like how I can achieve that style so I was studying her hair and I'm gonna insert pictures here studying her hair and I was just like oh my god looking through Instagram I mean looking through Google because Instagram she didn't post that much pictures she recently posted a picture today actually and I'm gonna include this in this video as well but just scrolling through Google scrolling through Google scrolling through Google looking at her hair and I'm zooming in and I'm like wait hold on what sis has twists and dreads like she has kinky twist um, as you guys can see here but hers were thicker because her dreads were also thicker as well and she also had dreads and I was like why would you do that I'm so confused but I was like I get it that is the thing that caused her dreads to look so full because she had these thick twists in between her dreads and it made it look so full this compared to a dread Look at the difference. The volume of a twist is so much thicker and it expands as it gets older, so it's going to take up more space. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. I went on her um, hairstylist's page and saw that she, her hairstylist specializes in like the very free spirited, like dreads, the very boho chic type of dreads where it's like, I just woke up like this, like, and I've had my dreads for like 80 years, like that type of vibe. Like very much so Lisa Bonet. And if you even go on Lisa Bonet's Instagram, her dreads, have the ombre going on, the loose hair going on, the braids, twists. She has like everything in her hair right now. Like it's honestly just like everything. Like she has everything in one style. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And I started my hair yesterday and I wasn't gonna record it, but I was like, you know what? Let me just hop on and just show you guys how I'm achieving this style. Because maybe somebody is interested in getting the Tiana Taylor style and want to know how to achieve it. And if you are like me and you wanna get exactly what she had, this is exactly what she had. So if you're interested in knowing how Tiana Taylor achieves her style in a very easy, easy way to do some goddess locks at home, then keep on watching. Here, let me just go ahead and just show you guys the supplies and the hair that I used and all of that. So for my actual um, dreads, my wrap, my wrapping hair, oh my God, can I think? So I use Ibiza 100% natural virgin human hair, um, Shake and Go Ibiza line, the Shake and Go Ibiza line. For my twist, I use the Janet Marley style um, Afro twist braid. This is not really like, you don't have to mandatorily get this particular brand. You can get whatever brand you like, but this was just the longest brand that they had at the beauty supply store that I went to, so that's why I got this. Also wanna get yourself a pair of clamps. I am using this like crocodile teeth, clamp that I got from Amazon um, also a crochet if you guys hear any sounds outside or anything please excuse it it is currently construction going on but I really wanted to do this video so I was like I need to sit down and do this I cannot wait until I can't I, like I just can't okay I did my dreads in like a crochet style and that's why I said that's gonna be very easy because what I did was I pre made my dreads and I made these dreads I did not buy them I made these human hair dreads, um, as you guys can see. I made these human hair dreads using the Ibiza hair, using um, virgin hair at the ends. This is just regular virgin hair that I had at home, um, just like this. 
bulk hair that I had at home and I just use this to add my trees into my hair and I like to do this particular method because it's just so much easier I'm able to break it down into two days when I originally started to do my locks I did my locks like on my head and I would spend like 12 hours on my head so what I would do is that one day I would just sit down I wrap my hair I'll make all my locks I do kind of like an estimate of how many locks I want to do depending on the size um, I currently have in like medium to small dreads so I was kind of like okay let me do about like 50 dreads um, and then I knew that I was doing twists as well so I'm like if I need to do more then I'll do more but you just kind of have to be mindful of how much dreads you're gonna put in your head if anything what you can do is you can just do the base prep the base of your actual hair and part it into how, however many dreads you want to have on your head count the amount of braids and twists I personally did a combination of uh, twists style because I just feel like it's easier to take out as well um, count how many twists or braids you have in your head and then from there you'll know how much dreads crochet dreads to make if you don't want to make your own crochet dreads and you don't know how to you can definitely just go to the store and buy yourself some crochet dreads they have pre-made crochet dreads in the store and you can use the same type of technique to make it singular just like this so yeah that's about it so let's get into my tree i specifically left this out just so i can show you guys how to do a tree like this um from the base of the roots i know that this is like something that they do a lot and I did not put any product on my hair because I feel like a style like this if I sat there and use like braiding gel it's just gonna be too much product that's gonna eventually build up in my hair like this hairstyle this hairstyle I plan to keep in for about a month and a half or so so imagine having like hair so much hair gel in your hair for like a month and a half not happening let me show you guys what I have used. After washing my hair, I just go in with the Camille Rose Honey to leave in, well, it's like a liquid moisture refresher, but I use it kind of as a leave in conditioner because it does have honey, aloe vera, water, um, rice water in here as well. So all of these products is gonna keep my hair hydrated throughout my protective style and it's going to also aid in my hair growth and just keeping my hair soft and moisturized. And then I just went in with my um, Moisture Milk by Camille Rose as well. And then I sealed it with the Camille Rose oil um, just to keep it all like, you know, taut in there. And this is after washing and deep conditioning my hair. Make sure that you're deep conditioning your hair because you are about to not touch your hair and your hair is about to be in one style, um, shielded from like light and all of that, the sun, you know, our vitamin D for about a month or so, you wanna make sure that your hair is moisturized while it's in a protective style. If your hair is not moisturized before going into a protective style, what are you protecting? Dry hair. You cannot protect dead leaves. You know what I mean? You wanna make sure they're watered, it's moisturized, it has all the moisture it can get so that while it's in here, it is still flourishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair. You wanna have your hair as thick as you like it, whatever, this is just, the thickness that I currently have right now, this is the thickness that I have. I have three sections of hair, okay? And I just am just starting the braid. I take each side and loop it under each other. And once I get back to the front, because I want this to hang in the front, I basically put the thinnest side out here and the thin side, I mean the thickest side inside of the braid. And if it starts to like pull onto the actual hair I'm fine with that because then I can just always pull it out like that to the length that I desire and I just continue on braiding like this if it pulls a little I'll pull it down you don't want to pull it down too far because you want enough of the human hair to be in your actual braid and your base so that it doesn't slip out on its own or like when you put it up in ponytails or anything like that after I have enough braided um root I just take the rest of it and I literally just twist my ends like so I personally just prefer a twist it's easier it's faster if I sat here and braided this I would literally only be like right here so I just feel like it's so much easier to just twist my hair and just get it out of the way and then boom we'll have our trees so now that we have that tree out of the way I'm gonna take these two twists right here and take my clamps and move them out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take my thickest piece of kinky hair. It's about this thick. 
And I don't make this perfect. I kind of don't want the base, the root of my hair to be very tight. I don't want it to pull on my hair or anything. So I don't make this perfect. I actually kind of make it a little bit looser just because I just want it to give like that older look. Like this, my hair is growing out a little bit and I've had this style in for a little while. I don't like when dreads look super, super tight and it's like your, the base of your hair is pulling. I just personally don't care for it. If you do, you can braid that tighter <clears throat> if you like. But, um... Yeah, I don't really know how to explain this part too much, but if you don't know how to braid, it's kind of this is gonna be kind of hard. Um, what you can do is do like a rubber band method, and you do the rubber band and crochet this through the under the rubber band, and then braid it from there, and that'll be a quick well, twist it from there, and that'll be a quick way to do this as well. So when you're braiding, you just want to make sure that you're braiding enough of the root. As you guys can see, it's not that tight. Um, but you just want to braid enough of the root so that the twists don't start to travel up if they start to unravel. Um, my twists aren't going to unravel because I use crazy glue to seal the ends. Because one thing about twists um, is that it tends to unravel. So a way to make your dreads thicker is to make sure that your dreads are not super, super tight when you're twisting it. This twist can actually be very, if I make it tight enough, it can be very similar to this size, but I want it to kind of be a little more than, a little less than double this size. Um, once I get to a certain part of the hair, I add more hair just so that um, it can be the reach the same length as the rest of the dreads because my dreads is pretty long. And like I said, you just don't want to twist it too, too tight. You don't want to twist on the hair too tight, but you still want to twist it enough so that it actually shows the form of the twist. When I'm just going to show you guys, I literally just take this, the human hair end, and I bring it up into the other side and I just twist like so. So I'm just, I have the two sides, you twist it in the opposite direction of each other and then you cross it over each other like that. And I'm just going to take my crazy glue and you just apply it. It's so bright. I don't understand why my thing is so bright today. And I just apply it like to the ends of the hair like so. And I just blow on it a little bit because I don't want it to get stuck to anything and turn white because that is not cute at all. And that is the only time that I use crazy glue. I do not use uh, crazy glue um, throughout my dread. Okay, so um, I take my crochet dread and take my crochet needle and I put it through the loop of the crochet. So that little loop right there, that is what the crochet needle is actually going through. And then I have the crochet needle open like this and I latch onto the end of my twist of my natural hair, close the crochet hook, pull it through the loop, pull this up. I go through the base of my actual um, twist right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, hopefully you can. But I take the needle, opened, put it through the actual base, loop the end of my twist again, close the hook, like so, and then I pull it through. So now I pulled it through this, I pulled it through the dread and I put it through the base and this is just gonna help secure your twist from actually slipping out or your dreads from slipping out of your hair. Now with the ends of the hair, what I like to do is just kind of adjust my length of my dread to where I want it to be. And then I just take the end and I twist it around whatever side I wanna twist that little hair around just so that it gets out of the way. And when I'm wrapping my hair, I'm not confusing my hair with the actual kinky hair because this kinky hair is human hair and it feels exactly the same as my natural hair so i just take a part of this please keep in mind that when you do use like human hair kinky hair you're always going to get pieces but it kind of depends on um what length you got i got 12 inches and i wish i got like the 18 inches because that would have been much easier to work with but it's still going to come in like this type of piece length um that's just how i've always seen afro kinky bulk hair since i've been young that's just how i see it so um i'm gonna take a piece of the kinky twist dread the afro twist hair and i'm gonna take my hook and i'm literally going to put it through the same loop 
that I put the, the ends of my hair through. Oh, there we go. Put it through here. Take an end, close it, and just kind of pull it through. You don't, you want to be very careful when you do this part because like I said, the kinky hair is kind of like bits and pieces. So you don't want to like pull apart the actual hair. I just grab one end with the actual dread and then I wrap. Like I'm literally just wrapping around the base of the hair, of my hair, and also the dread. And then I just continue doing this all the way down until this is covering the hair, my hair that's out and also goes in to meet the dread that I made. I hope this makes sense because this is very, very difficult to <laughs> show. So I'm hoping that, I mean, difficult to explain. So I'm hoping that with me showing you guys how I'm doing it, it makes it easier as well. And as you guys can see, it is a little part right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit more hair. Not too much, just a little bit. That's all we really need. And we're gonna start a little bit above where we ended just to make sure that it is secure and to avoid any hair unraveling. And I just continue on twisting this and I twist it down past the dread that I had already made. And once I get to a certain length, well, a certain part, I take this little tiny piece of hair that's right here and I start kind of twisting that upwards as well, just to extra secure whatever parts. Then I take the dread put it in between the palm of my hands and I just do this a little bit to kind of secure it and we have a dread you saw how easy that was so this long as dread that I have in my head I did it in less than like a minute so once again take the crochet if you have um pre-made crochet dreads or you're making the crochet dreads yourself you will always have this little hook right here just make sure to leave this space out if you guys want a video on how I make my um, pre-made crochet dreads human hair dreads then let me know down below and I'll go ahead and do that video for you guys but you just go ahead and take your crochet hook and you put it straight through that little loop that's right there and then you take your open crochet hook loop it latch on your actual twist or your braid close it pull it through and then you go through the base of your hair opened put on your twist close it Pull that through again really really easy relatively easy when you kind of just understand the basic concept of it I'm going to adjust this yeah about that length is fine and I'm just gonna twist the other ends of my hair to each other oh let me take this down get the crochet needle out of your hand or else you will loop onto your own hair and start snagging your hair that's that I like to sometimes like twist one end a little bit just so it's easier to hook onto when I'm going through the crochet. Put it through that base again. Hook it on, close it, pull it through. And I just pull it the rest with my fingers just because I'm able to actually keep control of how I'm pulling the hair. Um, and then let me take a clamp to just move these loose hairs out of the way. And then we do the same exact thing again. We just hold onto a base and we twist. Oh, I'm gonna have to put this over here. Hold onto the base and we literally just wrap the hair. You can wrap this as tight as you want, as loose as you want. I would recommend to at least do it a little tight because you do not want this hair to start unraveling at the root. But because we have the crochet going on and I didn't just wrap it on its own, you know what I mean? It's not gonna come out. But I don't know if you guys saw that part, but because I had this tree here, I wrapped over the under the tree, I pulled the tree apart and held it in this hand. And then I started to wrap behind the tree as well so that way the tree has space to come out and it's not twisted inside of my hair and then I just go ahead and I just continue on twisting I personally don't care if like the size of my root and my ends are not exactly the same 
um just because one i don't even want that much like hair and heaviness to be on my hair um and also like the root of your hair is always natural dreads the root of your hair is smaller than the rest of your head because the root is most likely just recently retwisted and it has not dreaded and puffed out yet so it's going to be tighter so i'm okay with the root of my hair being a little bit smaller than the rest of it so i'm gonna take my extra piece of hair and so like i said started a little bit above where we ended and just go ahead and twist it and keep on twisting this bad boy down until we get to the actual crochet dreads that we pre-made and this does not have to be perfect like do not focus on like oh my god i have to make my dreads super super perfect dreads are not meant to be perfect okay they are meant to be a little bit um you know like a little carefree a little messy it's not supposed to be perfect all right, y'all, so that's it. That's basically how I do my dreads. And I just wanted to show you guys, if you want, after you finish doing everything, you could take a little bit of leave-in conditioner to add onto your dreads um, to kind of like activate the curls as well. Like I'm gonna add a little bit here just to kind of get these two curls that I have here unified. I'm just gonna take a little bit. You could just use plain water if you like. I personally just wanted to use leave-in conditioner because it does have a little bit of like a moisturizing component in it and stuff, so. It allows the curls to actually like stay in place and not frizz up too bad. Um, I don't want to look crazy, you know what I mean? This is how you can achieve your Tiana Taylor dreads. And just so you guys can see, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the style that was in that video, well, in that picture, where it's all up. There is the Tiana Taylor locks. It looks so cute, I love it. It looks super, super cute. Really, such a vibe there you have it this is the tiana taylor dreads i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys saw how easy you can get this style as you guys can see i literally just popped it up into a ponytail literally right after i installed it so it should go ahead and show you guys how easy this type of style is you do not have to worry about tension or anything like that like the tension is not that bad if you guys decide to do this type of style on your head, then make sure to tag me in the video. Let me know on an IG, a DM, or whatever, and let me know. I hope this video is very helpful. If you guys have any questions on anything that I did not include in this video, then please go ahead and leave those comments down below. And yeah, I am loving it. I feel like it's super cute. It's different. It's like different than what I'm used to, different than what I do. And it's very much so giving Tiana. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see more hair videos from me, hair tips, hair tricks, or whatever, then please make sure to leave those comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.